Hey everybody, Dr. Rick coming in from the H. Uh, wanted to drop a little bit on you today. Uh, look, for the last 30 plus years, I have invested myself into discovery uh, through scientific research, through historical uh, examination, through societal observation, and a bunch of research uh, in those in those veins uh, from generational trauma uh, through uh, socioeconomic manipulation and poverty through political manipulation uh, I have given you work after work after work 28 books uh, that have things to do with all of this uh, especially Born in Captivity which was my 19th book The Undoing of the African American Mind uh, the War on Black Wealth, Academic Apartheid, The Miseducation of African American Youth. <clears throat> and the list goes on uh, with theses uh, on a number of different topics, uh, lectures. Um, I have been very, very, very invested in the understanding and the development of knowledge in the area of epigenetics. This, this study started in the 90s uh, to understand and to be able to with clarity, articulate, express, and record the influence of generational trauma, not just in a concept or uh, somewhat of a hypothetical idea, but to literally sit down and say, this is what's happening to my people. This is what's going on. And it started in the 90s and it went on. And I've, I've since lectured at the International Council for Epigenetics and Cancer. I never thought my research into generational trauma would lead me to an understanding of stress and its influence on our genes and how that can lead to diseases like cancer, autoimmune diseases like lupus, and so much more. And over the time I've been talking about it, I use it when I'm working with my clients, uh, and I've shared it with you. We have the answers to so much of what we face in this world. So many of the enigmatic issues that plague the black community have been uh, addressed by some of the greatest minds ever, the John Howard Clarks, the Dr. Amos Wilsons, uh, the Dr. Naeem Agbars, the Dr. Francis Chris Wilsons, Liv Neely Fuller Jr., Dr. Claude Anderson, um, whether you like him or not, Dr. Umar Johnson. And I can go on and I've given you 30 years of my life in, in writing, in, in literally over 10,000 video recording lectures, interviews, and all of that, and so much more. And what I've done is I've stepped aside from begging a people who I love to embrace an understanding that can change their lives. And I simply created uh, this concept, Healed and Hold, and I wrote my 28th book, uh, which is Healed and Hold. And I literally took everything I've learned from epigenetics, adverse childhood experiences, the whole nine, things I do with uh, literal sheriff's departments and uh, school districts on helping children be more healthy through, you know, my understanding of adverse childhood experiences, which is simply a sector of epigenetics and all of this, but I've taken it and now I'm exploring the opposite side of that in this book. Uh, in this book, we're talking about how when you change the environment, when you remove the traumatic influences and implements, when you stop re-injury, when you create hope, when you do uh, these, these things, you literally improve health. You can literally heal yourself through a, a mental process of learning how to establish a state of peace. Uh, also, you learn how to avoid stressors. Some things you can't avoid. Some things are going to happen. You're going to lose loved ones. You're going to have some disruptions at your job You or in your business and all that. But I'm talking about there's so much of what we do. We just simply wallow in. And I am excited about what this book is going to do to me. It's by far the best thing I've ever done, which says a lot because I have critical mass was bold. Born in captivity 
Uh, I'm still getting raised on that. That was my 19 books. That was almost 10 books ago, but I'm still getting raised on that. Uh, academic apartheid, I get a lot of raves on that from uh, literally colleges and universities as well as African American, uh, the uh, um, miseducation of African American youth. Both of those are actually studied in, in universities. Uh, I am really truly grateful for the things that have happened in my life, but it was all done to be an implement of elevation for my people. And so what I've also done is I have created a live event where we're going to cover the primary elements and components of this healing process, how you literally can heal yourself with the proper mindset, emotional regulation, mental regulation, stress regulation, uh, some practices, but also this isn't just about health. When you are healthy, when you learn how to regulate these emotions, regulate these mental ideas, these thoughts that move beneath the surface of your subconscious, when you learn how to do that, you also learn how to create better situations. You're going to learn how to navigate through your finances. You're going to learn how to navigate through relationships. You're going to find yourself in a better, more whole, more enriching relationships. All of these things are a part of this healing process. It's hard to move into spaces that you know you desire, you can feel it, but you're not healed. You're going to attract where you are in this state and I am excited about it. Uh, we're gonna talk about so much. We're gonna talk about wealth. We're gonna talk about a lot of those things, but we're gonna talk about it from the seat of where we need to be in our mindset. You, it's hard to talk about advancing when everything is in, entrenched in trauma, in the experiences of trauma and the genetics associated with trauma and all of these different things. I'm excited at a level that I cannot explain. I want you guys to come there two different um uh, two different uh, admissions. That's general admission, which is exciting. Uh, you're going to get a copy of the book uh, with the free admission, uh, which is a $35 uh, benefit. You're going to get uh, an opportunity to sit down with yours and truly. If yours truly, if you're one of the first 25 to uh, register, you'll sit down with yours and truly for a one-on-one -on -one rapid transformation session. That's a $550 uh, benefit. Uh, once we hit 50 registrants, you will then uh, qualify for a drawing where I will draw one name from the attendees. Whether you attend or not, if you register, your name will go in and I will draw one name and that one person will receive an entire platinum uh, package to work with me for a year. That's 52 sessions um, valued at $14,995. Um, you definitely want that. Uh, my clients who I've worked with for years uh, are obviously coming back for a reason. Uh, and not everybody can see the value, but you're going to get an opportunity to win that. The VIPs are going to get three sessions with yours truly valued at $550. A piece and a bunch of other stuff but if you click the link in the description box you'll see the difference between the two and you can sign up you want to be there because we're going to have interactive engagement you're going to be able to ask me questions you're going to be able to talk about what's going on in your world you're going to be able to talk about what you believe what you think and how all these things are in alignment or not and in in that so Again, I'm excited about it. I want you to uh, be excited about it. I want to really get you to uh, take advantage of these opportunities. Look in the description box, click the link, do it now. Let's make something happen. On that note, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day.